All right, Miles. One of the teams that's kind of been a surprise at this point in the college football season, especially in the SEC, is the LSU Tigers. Look, this is a proud program. This is a blue blood in the SEC, no doubt about it. They ran on a few hard times at the end of Coach O's run at the beginning of Kelly's run. It looked like it was a rough start, obviously losing to Florida State. Not the way you want to start your campaign. But this LSU Tigers football team is firing on all cylinders. This looks like the LSU teams of old, obviously taking down Alabama last week, vaulted them to the top of the SEC West. They're looking to be contending potentially for an SEC championship game. And I don't know, you've got the specifics on that, some details there, some scenarios to run through. Before I hand it over to you, Miles, we want to hear from LSU fans in the comment section below. Look, this has been a great year, especially after the rough start give us your mvp right obviously the quarterback daniels has had a massive year but there's probably a lot of other guys you think has really stood out as well give us your most valuable player of the lsu tigers of this lsu tigers football team in the comment section below but my uh, what do you have out of lsu yeah nick so brian kelly let's take a minute to talk about that move i think week one the loss to florida state people were questioning the move uh there were a few people saying we need him out of town now. Just go ahead and pack your bags, take the return flight home. But Nick, after things have settled down, no overreactions. That's why we don't overreact to stuff in the college football word, world. Of course, no one would ever do that. Uh, Brian Kelly's move to LSU seems like it has paid off in spades in just his first year. You know, we talked about they beat Alabama, and this is putting the Tigers back to that elite level of program they are known for like you said they're a blue blood of the sec a blue blood of the college football world in general this is a team that has a storied history they just recently won a national championship nick everyone remembers the joe burrow years down in lsu so this is a team that is doing all kinds of stuff right and it is looking like they are going to be a powerhouse again for years to come and let's talk about how they can finish this season off the strongest nick you know obviously with two losses, it would be pretty tough for them to make it into the college football playoff. But there is a consolation prize here, and that is getting into the SEC championship game versus Georgia. Uh, Georgia's all but a lock to get it in the East. But in the West, the LSU Tigers are pretty much a lock to get it. All they have Ooh. to do is beat Arkansas and Alabama win at Mississippi, and it's a lock. This week, they could lock up the SEC championship game. I don't want to jinx them. Don't want to put that juju on anybody. There's still a litany of other ways they could get into the SEC uh, championship. But if they win this week at Arkansas and Alabama beats Mississippi, which are two relatively likely, likely, likely things, events. yeah, they have locked up the West and they're going to meet Georgia in the SEC championship game. And that would be huge, Nick. In Brian Kelly's first year, getting to an SEC championship game, that looks really good on the resume, doesn't it? Oh, and it just um, just wonders for recruiting, right? And according to Rivals.com, LSU right now is, has the six, number six best recruiting class of next year, 2023. So already Brian Kelly, one of his strengths at Notre Dame, is that he was able to recruit top talent, a lot of NFL talent to Notre Dame. That's how they were able to contend and, and make a couple runs to the college football playoff. LSU, obviously, being the talent hotbed that they are in, in Louisiana and obviously Texas, Alabama, right around the neck of the woods, elite level college football talent there. LSU's a blue blood. They can draw talent from anywhere. Having a guy like Kelly, who is an elite level recruiter, not an elite level Southern accent faker, but an elite level recruiter. This is a guy who can bring in players and, and bring in top flight players to compete with the likes of Saban in Alabama, Kirby Smart in Georgia. And the fact that he's off to such a hot start already with the strength of really retaining some guys but taking advantage of the transfer portal as well shows that this is a guy who knows how to win in modern sec football because that's a lot harder than people think it is right sometimes sec coaches come in and they struggle they don't get it right you look at the will must champs who struggled at florida and south carolina right they were an up-and-coming coach it just didn't work out we see this sometimes some young coaches move in they get smacked they're not used heck jimbo fisher and AM is a great example right sec football is a little different than coaching at florida state but again, uh, Kelly coming down has proven himself to be more than capable to take over that mantle of coaching SEC football, which is which is number one about recruiting. It's about managing the program and managing the transfer portal. He's off to a fantastic start. And I'm, if I'm an LSU fan right now, I'm really excited to, to see how this year finishes out for one, likely to Atlanta, but also for the rest of uh, the next few years. Yeah, Nick, if we look at the schedule in general, I think it's pretty reasonable for LSU to win out the rest of the schedule. Oh, yeah. Obviously, they got Arkansas. They got Alabama. Birmingham so they they're gonna have they're gonna ha handle that game and then at the end of the year speaking of Jimbo Fisher 
Uh, we'll see how he holds up against a seems like much superior SEC coach and Brian Kelly uh, when they face off Texas A&M last game of the season, Nick. But, uh, you know, I'm going to flip it back to you here just for a second because we've been talking about, you know, who are the stars of this team? Who do we like on this team? And I think there was a guy that you mentioned that has looked pretty good this season. And I will flip it to you. Who is a guy on this LSU team that you like so far? It's got to be Kayshawn Booty. This guy is probably one of the more impressive wide receiver talents coming out of LSU, and that's really saying something. He has all the physical tools, just like, you know, whether it's Jefferson, you know, Beckham, Landry. He is in that same level of football player. His numbers really aren't as good as maybe some of the other guys coming out. Of course, Beckham and Landry weren't that high either because under less miles, they didn't throw the ball as much as they should have. Different story for a different day. But I think his overall physical tools and his ability to win key matchups, third down red zone is so impressive. I really like what this guy has done. He's shown himself to also be a quality team player, you know, battling through some adversity at times at his time at LSU, but sticking around and now reaping some of the rewards now. He's going to be a really high draft pick. I think he's actually playing a critical role in keeping that wide receiver you uh, train flowing with a lot of recruits coming in. Yeah, Nick, and he looked really good. And even against Florida, a really good team as well. Uh, he put up 115 yards, and I think one play. of the big thing is in the last three games, Alabama, Ole Miss, Florida, those are three tough teams to play here, Nick. He has a lot of big plays. Uh, he had a 17-yard catch against Alabama, a 20-yard catch against Ole Miss, and a 40-yard catch uh, against Florida. So he flashed that big play potential. He can make the long ball catches. He can do a lot of really incredible stuff with the ball in his hands. And I'd, I'd like exactly what you say. Uh, this guy is priming himself uh, to come out. It's his junior year. He's most likely going to go to the draft. He's going to be a high draft pick. And this is going to be a guy who's going to be a nice receiver in the NFL and make a lot of LSU fans proud.